Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of welding here with the and see if this clamp on amp meter will read the actual output amperage on the welder. I'm not sure it's another Harbor Freight cheapy, so we'll see if it works. It's supposed to be able to read AC amperage by clamping on. So to max nine or max eight for this welding on the exact same material as last time that same piece of square. So Let's turn this on. This thing actually moves a pretty decent amount of air with that upgraded fan they got in there. This is the weld I just did. Clean that up. And I want to review what the amperage output was. The last one did not turn out well on the camera, so I'll try a slightly different angle. So I'm turning it up to max and 10. This should be as much as it can go. I'm going to hold a short stick out, try and pump as much heat into this as I can. And go over the previous older weld so that I don't blow through. But try and pump as much heat through this as I can and see what this thing really maxes out at. actually seemed to go down in the amperage, so I just turned it back down to 9. One another. Looking at it, the clamp on this thing opened up. That might have something to do with it. So let's try closing that up. Crank it up to max again. Run another one. We're going to test the open circuit voltage on this welder. So this is, manual says 27 volts, I'll assume that's on max, so let's check that. 26.8 volts AC, is it, what is it on minimum? 21 volts. AC. Alright, so um, I'm showing you what the open circuit voltage is. Now I've got my uh, multimeter hooked up to where the voltage comes into this circuit board. I'll show you that it's the same. That's min. That's max. But we're going to see what happens to the voltage. We know what the open circuit is. We want to see how stable it is while we're welding. Theoretically, all wire feed welders should be a constant voltage. So it should say fairly constant. But we're about to find out if it does. So I've got it on max. And I'm going to push it. See what happens.
Now we're going to turn it down to minimum. Same thing, we'll leave the wire speed up and we'll run a bead like that. Interesting thing, um, the wire feed is pulled off of the secondary of the transformer. Whatever voltage you're putting out to the tip is the voltage going into the circuit board for the drive motor. And then it's varied down from that to adjust your wire speed. So 10 would be the, open, the voltage you're actually welding at and then a lesser percentage of that as you turn the, the wire speed down. So, interesting effect of that is the wire speed, even if it's set at the same setting, is slower on min. It's also slower if the voltage sags because you're welding hard, the wire feed will slow down. So that's an interesting side effect of that whole thing. To demonstrate the wire feed, I'm going to turn this thing down to about one and a half. This is the this is the wire feed at one and a half on max. Okay, I'll pull that back through. And we're going to switch it to min. So as you can see, the voltage that was the same exact wire speed setting for both. It's just a matter of what voltage the circuit board is getting. Alright, so what did we uh, learn from this experiment? We learned um, the amperage that it outputs. It's, it's going to be 125 amps peak output. On average you're going to get uh, 90 to 100 amps uh, maxed out. Uh, your that's what most of these actually put out. Um, we can go through. Uh, I'll put out a video comparing the specs and the internals of this versus the older 90 amp models, and uh, also a couple of competitors' models and how they rate them. Um, that'll be a future video that'll come out after this one. Basically, it, it's an upgraded version of the 90 amp, uh, is what this is. It's just a an upgraded version. It's got a much better cooling fan in there, so I think in, in it probably will find that its duty cycle is actually higher than rated, and we'll test that in an upcoming video. Uh, what we've learned, it has a AC open circuit voltage of 27 on max, 21 on min. Welding, it's running about 19 volts AC while welding at max wire speed. Um, and it's running about, what, 15, 16 volts uh, at max wire speed on min. Uh, so that gives you an idea of what you're actually getting. And in future videos here, we'll, uh, we'll test some other stuff on it. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.